been standing by all morning with about uh, 250,000 of their closest friends. Hi, guys. Oh, you know, just a few friends, right? A few, a few new friends out Woo! here. Say hi, everyone. Hi! just a short time ago. What are you going to do with these? Put them over your fireplace mantle? On my wall. On your wall. On your wall. Mad Bum, is he your favorite player? Yeah. First thing I'm going to see in the morning when I wake up. Hey, let me ask you. Bruce Boshi, he did not want to wear the, he did not want, not want to use the D word dynasty. What do you think? I think it is a dynasty. You can't really, you know, not say no. Three and five years, that's a lot. Right. Can you argue with dynasty? No, you can't, guys. Do we have a dynasty, dynasty. here? I say, let's go, you say, let's go, let's go, let's go, let them hear you. They're pretty good here. They've been late since 5, 6 o'clock this morning. They want to see the Giants, Michelle. They want to see them. They want the parade to hurry up, wrap up, so the Giants can fill the stage and they can see all of their favorite players. And by the way, who is your favorite player? My favorite player, I have many, but I would say my fave is Angel Pagan. Oh, okay. Because he's a great player. And he's kind of handsome. A little bit. I'm going to go with Pablo Sandoval. I love Pablo, too. Here's a guy that had 26 hits in the in the postseason. I think he had 11 or 12 in the uh, in the World Series. He set a record in the postseason. The Giants have got to re-sign this guy. You guys like Pablo, right? Yeah! And he's actually going to speak today, so a lot of the fans are ready for him to speak. They're going to hear from Larry Bear. Exactly, and of course, Mad Bomb. And Madison uh, is going to be up there finally talking to his people with that nice southern accent. And people are going to go nuts here. We are actually maybe, what, 150 feet away from where they're sitting down. And right now, they're wiping down the chairs and that kind of thing. It's amazing. You people are 200 feet from the stage. Are you going to be able to see it? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, Frank. It's hey, hey Michelle. We want to want to clue you guys in. Uh, we just saw Michael Morse. He's heading your way. So is Pablo Sandoval. As we show you a little crazy camera there, and uh, some of the people in the uh, stands. And Roberta Gonzalez has been standing by. As uh, some of these players continue to come by, Roberta. All right. Now here is another one of the big, big fan favorites. The one everybody's been waiting for. Pablo Sandoval. It's the panda. And I'm going to just let you listen to the crowd here. It is complete pandemonia, or pandemonia out here. As Michael Morse just went by, Pablo Sandoval. And now let's see who's coming up on this next. Oh my goodness, MVP. It is Bob Gardner. Uh, and the crowd is going wild. Roberta, this is, when we look at Madison Bumgarner, give people a little history. The Giants decided to sign him to a contract after just two years of service, and they gave him five years, Ken, and $35 million. At the time, it was the richest contract for such a young player in history. Now, he is signed with this team through 2017 mm -hmm. at only $7 million a year. I don't say only because he's the best pitcher in baseball, and he's probably a 22, $23 million a year pitcher. Yeah. And they have control of this guy through 2017 at a bargain basement price. He's holding up the MVP uh, trophy there. He also got a nice pickup truck uh, from Chevrolet. Uh, in a scene that uh, I think everybody will remember for a long, long time. Um, and you're right, and, and you know what? I, I, Larry Bear's a good friend of mine. Larry's gonna put a little something in the envelope for Madison Bumgarner. You betcha, Dennis, that he gets a little bonus this year, kind of uh, just a, a token of the Giants' appreciation. Well, at the time, uh, people raised their eyebrows. Wow, you gave a lot of money to a guy who's been in the league for one or two years, and now Sabian looks like an absolute genius for that move, but I think you're right, Ken, because at seven million a year for the you know, comparatively speaking he is dramatically underpaid for what he is bringing to this team as as Saibian said arguably the best pitcher in baseball and uh, you know just my opinion but in an era where we you know all too frequently talk only about the bad aspects the loud mouths the uh, the people in sports the players uh, you know who make the news for all the wrong reasons I think it's really refreshing 
to have a guy like Madison Bumgarner on your team. He's soft spoken. He lets his work on the field dictate what he says. He doesn't uh, he's not a trash talker. He's not a big mouth. He's a little bit on the quiet side and I don't know about you but I like that. I also like the fact that he can chug four Budweiser at, one, at once. I'm very impressed. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm you're right. Saying. He's a southern boy who would like a fishing pole in his hand and, and, and do some hunting. There's Tim Lincecum. Timmy. 